Hello everyone. In today's video, I will show you a way where you can bypass this 5 items limit in unassigned items and can have more than 5 items in it. Okay. So as you know, when you have 5 or more items in unassigned items, when you try to purchase a new card, it will give you a warning saying uh, you cannot buy this item because you have 5 or more unassigned items. So unless you handle these items, you won't be able to purchase a new card. Okay. So now let us see how we can bypass this. And in today's video, instead of directly giving you the script, I will show you how I used to debug and find such uh, bypass scripts. So in future, it will be easy for you to develop your own script based on based upon your use case okay and if you are not interested in learning how to debug and create the script of your own you can skip to the time which is given in the description where we will directly discuss about the script rather than debugging and finding okay so let's get started with the debugging process okay so to debug any website press f12 on your keyboard so it, you will get the developer option okay so in uh, fifa web app there is this particular script called ocompiled.js where uh, there is a debugger point which will keep on eating and prevent you from debugging this app. So as and when you keep clicking on this continue, it will still keep hitting it. So to bypass, bypass this, what you can do is you can just click uh, right click on the script and you will get an option called black box this script. Uh, so you can select that option to bypass this debugger point. Okay, Black box this script and you can click on continue. Otherwise, it will be frustrating for us to debug this app. Now that we black boxed this, let us continue with the debugging process. Okay, so I'll click on search, and when I I'll try to buy it now. Okay, so this item got expired. Let us try with some other items. Okay, so our end goal is to find the JavaScript function from where we are getting this pop-up. So as and when we are able to figure that out, uh, we can see what needs to be done to bypass that check. Okay, so there are multiple ways where you can do this. One thing is you can directly search for this string uh, in all of the JavaScript in this website and see from where you are getting this string. But that particular uh, thing won't work on FIFA web app or most of the modern apps because most of the app supports more than one languages. So you won't be seeing developer directly hardcoding these kind of strings. So because uh, it will be uh, tough for them to implement multiple languages or even in future if they wanted to add a new language hard coding these kind of strings uh, will be a burden for them so ideally what they will do is they will have respective json for each of the languages which will be a key value pair and based on the user's language they will load a particular uh, json and only those key will be used in the javascript and the translation will be done based on the json so first we have to find what is the key corresponding to this string and then try to find that key in the javascript and it's a tedious process because we have to uh, go to network tab and see all the json response and from the json response we have to find this string and then the key corresponding to this string and mostly if you see this kind of string will be encrypted and we won't be able to directly read it unless we decrypt it so it's a long process so instead what we can do is we can debug on this html nodes and see what is being changed when i click on this by now okay so if i click on this by now you see a div is getting added here and as and when i click cancel uh, the div is being removed okay so uh, this div comes under this parent okay within body only we have that div so if you click we get a div within this body and that div gets removed from the body okay so here what we can do is we can say set a break on called subtree modification so whenever a subtree within this body is being modified uh, it will take us to the javascript function from where that subtree is being modified okay so uh, and before that uh, what we can do is instead of having uh, uh, items which is less than 30 seconds or one minute let us go to an item which has uh, many uh, time left okay because uh, if you see this kind of uh, modification is being currently done right so it will be uh, tough for us to debug so what we can do is uh, uh, let us go to some other items which has uh, uh, large amount of time left okay. so here by now we will keep it as 200k 
so now let us uh, ignore uh, some of the first results okay so if you see here we have three minutes okay now let me turn this on break on subtree modification now i will click on this buy now button so if you see it took us to this script called compiled.js okay compiled one.js let us you can click on this uh, curly braces to uh, beautify that script okay and here you can see the stack trace so if you see uh, we clicked on uh, uh, this all the click event so whenever you click on this button ea has these events to handle this so you can ignore this one so this is the first uh, function is which is being called from here we got this so confirmation and then from here uh, all this pop-up related code are being written okay so now let us go to this on by function and see what is being done in that function again you can click on this curly braces to format the script so it will be a little readable okay so this is that on by now function okay so here first what they are doing is uh, they are getting the currently logged in user okay and for this particular card the auction data they are getting so what is the time remaining what is the starting bit all those kind of information they have and they are checking if the seconds remaining is greater than zero okay so you should not bid on a expired item right so that check they are doing so after this expiration check what they are doing is they are calling some function okay and the result of that function they are checking with some variable called max new items okay so this max new items as five and the, if this item is greater than or equal to 5 they are showing a pop-up okay so this pop-up is confirmation new items full and it goes to unassigned on click okay so i think uh, this this condition is where it checks if you have more than five unassigned items okay so this variable is responsible for that we can even debug this function okay so what i will do is i will keep a breakpoint here let us click on continue so now we will get a warning let us skip okay let me skip this one okay, and from elements i know that if we have find that function let me remove this breakpoint it is no longer needed okay so cancel let me click on next again okay so here we will press on buy now okay let i uh, deactivated all breakpoints so let me activate it back so the breakpoint hit here now let us grow go into that number of items in cache okay so this is what from, from there they are passing it right that enum value so purchased so this corresponds to six that's why we got six here so that purchased enum means unassigned so if you see if the enum is six they will return the unassigned dot length if it is transfer they will uh, return the number of items in the transfer list and this inbox is i think uh, transfer target i'm not exactly sure but i think so okay so from here it returns the unassigned length which is 5 in our case okay and since 5 is greater than or equal to 5 we are getting that warning so to bypass this what we can do is we can copy this variable go to console okay and here instead of 5 let us set a new value called 50 okay now we should be able to have uh, 50 unassigned items so let us check that so instead of uh, icon i'll go back to bronze item okay now let me try to buy it now so let me remove it okay so now with, if you see we are able to bypass that and was able to buy this item so now if you go to unassigned we will have six items Okay, similarly up to 50 items it will allow us to buy and if you wanted to have more than 50 uh, again you can go and increase it back so max underscore items dot new you can set it to 500 now you can have 500 unassigned items so this will be helpful where you wanted to preserve particular player uh, to sell it later or uh, needed to do some SBCs this can be helpful so this is what I wanted to cover in today's video and uh, for the practice what you can do is we have similar limit on uh, transfer target as well so here you can have only uh, at max 50 items okay so if you are trying to 
put on a 51 item uh, let me show it to you so let me go to consumable chemistry trial mm, shadow I'll buy okay this will clear max bit I'll set it to 150 okay let me try to bit 200 I already have 43 items right so now when I bit more than 50 I use I will get a warning Okay, so you can for practice you can try and find how you can uh, bypass this limit and have more than 50 transfer targets okay so thanks for watching if you have any doubts please leave that in the comment section i will try to reply as soon as possible and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do consider subscribing it as it will be very helpful to me once again thanks for watching have a nice day